to get that move done, but he sets it up very nicely for the exit of Parabolica. He could get the move into turn one at the Diretta Filio. Oh, big accident. Oh, my goodness. We're going to get a red flag here, surely. If not a safety car, that is a big one. He was already trying to fight back at him. Uh, there is the number 11 car of Fabian Schiller, which has made uh, very good progress from 15th on the grid and a huge, huge crash there. Barrel rolling over. That's absolutely massive and it's Lance Stroll. So this is Arthur Peak and Canna Massas occupying the same part of the racetrack. Peak trying to get past the Carlin driver. Is he going to try it into the second Lesmo? Is he going to know he's there? Oh, huge crash. An enormous accident from Peak and Canna Massas. Let's see it one more time. Peak down the inside. He's definitely got enough of a claim to the corner. But on that inside line, losing the rear and sending the Carlin barrel roll. Coming up is uh, one of those incidents. This is just uh, towards the closing stages of the race. One of the most spectacular accidents that Monza has witnessed in many years. And uh, with the bottom surface first, from the reverse angle, you see quite clearly it goes within inches of Magnitsch's Audi. And here, McNish's view of the debris cartwheeling across. And Stefan Ortelli didn't quite walk away from that one, a suspected broken ankle. That could have been uh, a lot nastier. Everybody doing their job properly, and uh, thankfully he's in a safe part uh, of the circuit. Just been speaking about his problems a little bit earlier, and uh, dear, oh dear, he was, well, he was lucky to get away with uh, not hurting himself or somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, he was. That was, that was uh, well, as I said, the lap before, he, he was having trouble in the braking area, not knowing his limits. I mean, you, you, you have to allow for the fact that when you're behind the car, you've got even less downforce than you normally have. There's no down. In etwa so bleiben. So, jetzt nochmal die Wiederholung. Da kommt er angeflogen, überschlägt sich im hohen Bogen über die Gegner. War ein Auto aus der Scuderia Farmer dabei. Das müsste Mancinelli gewesen sein. Ja. Point of view, a safety car is just what they need now, but we've managed to get through the day with uh, only one use. Oh, Whoops, big, big drop, but that oh, could be a safety car. Me. Now that looks like a mechanical failure under braking. That's a big, big impact. The McLaren suddenly speared off the road and took the Bentley. Yeah, absolutely. That was massive. Now, whether he locked a brake. Oui, rien n'est joué, hein. c'est jamais très bon d'être en tête. Oh, il y a eu un gros, gros crash en revanche. Avec trois pilotes a priori impliqués au minimum. Au bout de la ligne droite des stands. Il oh, y a eu un strike, oh là là. À grande vitesse. Que va-t-il se passer Je pense qu'ils vont peut-être terminer la course, mais là c'est quand même une grosse chute. Oh, le pilote ne s'est pas percuté, mais là c'est une grosse, 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 grosse chute, hein, malheureusement. Un peu comme Michael Savary aux essais chrono où il s'est fait percuter par... Euh, uh, as well, so the safety car has uh, been deployed. <sighs> Again, another one in a straight line. Speed That's a very dangerous, carrying. very dangerous crash. And uh, Thomas O'Rourke was, of course, just well. There was nothing he could do to uh, avoid being <laughs> picked up in that. No. He was minding his own business. Look at the right hand side of your picture at the oh. speed there. No, that's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. I know we've we've said it lots of times before, Sam. But um, when you're on the grass and the grass is damp, you actually accelerate, don't you? But also, he was very lucky. The car was slightly airborne going over the sausage curb at the apex. Yes. If that car had made good contact with that sausage curb, that that crash could have been another three times as bad. Of Weidler and Sala now right at the back of the field. Problem for Dalmas. Dalmas in the lead. Oh. Dalmas with terrible problems, the car on its roof and the crews and marshals on their way and this is a serious situation with the possibility of fuel leaking, fire starting. That all over again. Somebody in a big, big drama at the chicane. That is Mans Grenhagen who has rolled, he's ripped corners off the car and Mans Grenhagen is out of the race and that was because he has just launched himself over the back of Jordan Kinger. That is a monster of an accident. Over and over and over goes Mans Grenhagen. Here's another angle. The car absolutely flies as he launched himself over the back of Jordan King.
And in the spray, I'm afraid things like that are inevitable in open wheel single seater racing. Here's another look. Cheng on the left. Oh, now this is at the Parabolica. Who's that? That? It's not a Forte car. That's Dominic Mermans, the Dutch driver. This is another view of that incident, and Mermans is the green car goes up and over. I think it's Ricardo Tessera that's inside him. We didn't see the start of that overtaking manoeuvre, but as a result, don't put your hands out. <laughs> Oh, oh nice how can you back. not not put clear up the debris in the Audi pit they take the decision to try and repair the car and this is why contact out of the Ascari chicane and Dindo lucky not to barrel roll down the high speed straight after a contact punctures one of the tires and air gets under the car once again into the Valiante della Roggia and into the first of the two Lesmos and off the circuit that's one of the Momo cars and again I don't believe it Ryan Cullen's gone over what is going on here at Monza Felino cerca di portare la sua Mini Cooper a essere al comando e ce la fa in seconda posizione, potrebbe essere Ivan Tramontozzi, poi c'è subito un contatto e una botta pesantissima contro le barriere, potrebbe essere Lando ma... See if we can catch up to what happened. Was there a big lock up? Oh, yes, massive, massive, massive Oof. lock up. Wow, yeah, two front wheels solid locked up now. Well, that was because of a technical problem. interrupted several times by the safety car. The most dramatic incident befell 16-year-old Japanese Kotaro Sakurai, the rookie cup driver's car flying high in the air into the Roggia, ending his weekend. I think we now can show you what happened to Alex Peroni. Oh my goodness me. That is a horrific sight drive through and we've got a yellow flag at turn one i'm not sure what's going on at turn one at the moment uh someone oh and here we go who's that and i'm on two wheels There's in the fence as well three five five hits the barrier oh lucky to my goodness the who's that that went up on uh, on uh, two wheels three five five from a roll bar enorme crash from the uh, Dat is uh, Lasseer. En de, de auto absoluut volledig tot los. Maar uh, Lasseer, de jonge Fransman, gelukkig ongedeerd uit deze En ik denk dat ze een beetje meer tolerance voor de filthy weather conditions hebben. So, dus Pipo Durrani, still accelerating hard out of the first chicane. Let's hope he has seen the checkered flag. Slow cars in front, including his teammate. And he goes right over the back of Alex Lynn's car. That was a big impact. He clearly did not see the checkered flag in the spray of two cars in front. It's going to be interesting to see if Sonoda if Sino can actually get his head down. Don't knock, don't, uh, don't count out Notori either. As we see Christian oh. Hahn all the way around, he takes out Jack Doohan. Jack Doohan, who's gone wrong, upside down, a flip. That is a very dangerous move there. Hopefully both drivers are all right as our lead battle has gone through. It looks like both drivers are moving. We, we'd love to see that they're both of them getting out of the car as soon as possible. ...of race number one, so don't count him out just yet. There is a better view of the Beretta incident, and that, again, was contact with wheels. Oh, he actually rolled over now we didn't see that from the other angle we just saw the car 
what ended up in the barriers. We didn't see how he got to the barriers, and he certainly didn't see that. a scavalcare Brasini che oh, c'è un, una bruttissima uh, bruttissimo contatto con il molto rotto che andiamo Venica Venica sicuro non mi sembra... sicuramente può essere dovuto soprattutto a, a, a dell'umido che c'è ancora forse all'esterno è probabile perché veramente ha fatto un Oh, and we've had a crash at the end of the race and we've got a bit of fire at the back of one of the cars as well Here is an action replay of the end of the race. You can see the checkered flag waving and very, very hard into what looks like the end of the pit and an absolutely enormous damage to the front of that car.